Hello students, today we are going to read and recite a poem, The Shed, composed by Frank Flynn. Frank Flynn was a doctor, author, poet and a missionary priest. Born on 6 December 1906, his famous books are Northern Gateway 1963 and the Living Heart, 1964. The shed is a small room away from the main house for storing or keeping things, animals, tools, vehicles, etc. You have heard a cow shed, a tool shed, a wood shed, etc. There is a shed at the bottom of a garden with a spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie and listen. I'll open that door one day. The poem is about the shed, which is located on the bottom of the poet's garden. The shed was in worse condition. A spider web is seen hanging across the door. When the wind blows, the creaking sound of the rusty hinges attracts the poet's attention. The poet is in the relaxed mood as he is now in bed and plan to satisfy his curiosity to see what is hidden inside the shed. There is a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked panes of glass. In these lines, the poet describes about the window of that shed. He says that the shed has a dusty old window on its side. Three glass panes of the window are broken. I often think there's someone staring at me. Each time I pass, I'll peep through that window one day. In these lines, the poet discusses how he wishes to stare inside the shed. He tells that whenever he passes through the shed, he gets the feeling as if someone was staring at him. To find out, the poet wishes to peep inside the shed. My brother says that there is a ghost in that shed who hides under the rotten floorboards. And if I ever Dare to set foot inside, he'll jump out and chop off my head. But I'll take a peek one day. In these lines, the poet discusses how his brother warns him about the ghost inside the shed. The poet's brother talks about the presence of the ghost inside the shed and warns the poet that if he went, Inside the shed, the ghost would chop off his head. However, this does not this does not much frighten the poet, as the poet feels that his brother has made the shed his hiding place and wants to keep him away. So he still wished to one day step inside the shed and see for himself. I know that there isn't really a ghost. My brother tells life to keep the shed for his den. There isn't anyone staring or making strange noises. And the spider has been gone from his web. Since I don't know when, I'll go into that shed one day soon, but not just yet. In these lines, the poet seems to have grown enough to understand the truth. The poet is able to overcome his fears. He is able to understand that there is no ghost inside the shed. He understands that there is actually nobody inside the shed who stares at him or makes those strange noises. The spider too is no longer there. His brother has been telling him lies because he wanted to retain the shed for his own self. Therefore, 
very soon the poet would be able to set in foot inside the shed however he would say that this can't happen immediately the poet teaches us that we should not believe in useless and ima an imaginative stories about ghosts as these stories are used by people for their own benefit the central idea of the poem is rationality and fearlessness let us see what we have learned here are some questions for you question number 1 is where is the shed located your options are at the park at the bottom of the garden at the playground or at the roof of the house answer is at the bottom of the garden next question is how has the poet described the door of the shed options are the door is old and rusty the hinges of the door have become rusty the door shakes because of winds and produces creaking sound or all of the above the correct answer is all of the above third question is why does the poet feel that his brother doesn't want him to go there options are his brother has made the shed his hiding place his brother wants to keep him away his brother wants to keep the shed for his den or all of the above correct answer is all of the above now your last mcq is why does the poet want to peep through the window as he passes options are to find out if somebody is staring at him to find out the ghost to find out his old toys or to find out the spider's web correct option is to find out if somebody is staring at him now it's time to practice some questions from the poem so here we come to working with the story here three questions are given and you have to answer these three questions by your own so let's understand what's given in the text question number one is what was the opinion of the speaker's brother about the shed question number two is why do you think the poet is fond to peek in the shed one day and your last question of this video is what is the central idea of the poem that's it for today kids till then keep attempting the questions and be fearless thanks for watching see you in next video